Hey guys, Coach Chris here. Uh, welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Uh, today we're doing a short clip. We're looking at Jin Seo Bay versus Iran. Um, and this is in the Asian Taekwondo Championships. He's in the finals and he's winning. Uh, but what I want, to, want you guys to look for in this clip is I want you to think about the way you attack and think about how your second attack is supposed to build, be building off your first. So in this scenario, you're gonna see Jin Seo cut and move it to an ax kick, and then his second attack is a punch. So he's gonna lift his knee the exact same way it looks when he's doing his first attack, but he's gonna change target and use punch. Boom, boom. Okay, why is this significant? Well, let me get to that spot really quick. Notice here, the knee position on the way up. The, this is significant, first off, because when you guys are attacking, as you get to a higher and higher level of game, when you're kind of still beginning, you're ironing out all the weapons. You, you generally, as you're rising through the ranks in your country, you generally have a weapon or two that you're using on everyone, and no one can really get by it. Um, and then in, in senior game, you're, as you're getting older, more people have all the weapons. So you have four or five weapons you can use consistently. Your opponent has four or five weapons you can use consistently. And using your weapons in a sporadic manner, in a randomized manner, isn't gonna get you points anymore because everyone's defense is super good. So what you need to do is you need to be able to start tricking people's defense. And so in this scenario, this is an example of that where you can see, the, for, to raise your knee for an ax kick, your knee has to be, you have to lift your knee straight and it comes up and it goes into the ax kick, right? So Jun Se has been mixing this up, even back here, I think. One of his cuts. Oh, sorry. Uh, before the... Right here. So his cut, as you notice, it's not super sideways. It's pretty vertical. I think he does a cut right here. Oh, never mind. No, that's back to the other one. But his cuts generally are very vertical. And he does that specifically to mix in the axe kick whenever he wants. Like that. And then if he misses the axe kick, he can go straight for a body cut, which sometimes scores, actually. And then what he does immediately... As his opponent's coming down and his, as his opponent is in a reactive state, he does a cut with a vertical knee so his opponent doesn't know if it's high or low. And generally, if your opponent just ax kicked at you and then did a body shot, you most people to defend the body shot will, or to defend the headshot will lean backwards and that keeps them planted. And so knowing that that's going to happen, the adaptation is to raise your knee the exact same way and if your opponent's going to be planted and you're covering distance, a good way to score is punch. So one more time here, ax into a cut. The knee is vertical. It's very important knee. He's doing this initial attack with a vertical knee. He does it one more time and then lands a punch. Um, so this is a short clip, guys. I want you guys to think about the way you're attacking people. And are you are you attacking using the same look, but, use, but finding a different target? So in this case, obviously the target was initially head. Um, safety part after that was to the body lifts in the in the exact same way but finds a different target so as you guys are training as you guys are uh, doing drills don't just do a single drill just for a weapon um, if you're a beginner yeah sure but as you're growing your game think about how you can use the same look in this case a vertical knee to score points on other targets um, that's it for today guys thanks for watching and uh, please like share subscribe see you guys next time